desert southwest, these lumbering tortoises, which can live to be 120 years old, are up for adoption. And for little Noah Smith, this tortoise has become his best pal. So the tortoise is waiting for him in the morning. And then when he gets home from school right before it starts getting dark, the tortoise is back out. Think Timmy and Lassie, but with no barking and more leafy greens. The Smith family says life with their shelled friend is a lot of fun, although slow at times. But these dinosaurs of the desert need more homes because there's a surplus of shelter tortoises dropped off by owners who could no longer care for them. A number of these animals are coming in from a captive environment that can never be released. And so we like to provide a unique opportunity. So we came to the tortoise shelter, if you will, where many of these orphans, both older and younger, live. Mm -hmm. I think he starts off smaller than this, yeah. and he grows. Oh, yeah. But not everyone is tortoise worthy. You have to meet certain requirements before you can adopt one. Now, this isn't exactly the dog pound, so here's the list. It has a backyard that already has a fence hopefully a permanent source of food and then you would just need to create a burrow. Also the property of potential owners may be inspected and they might want to write the tortoise into their wills because they will outlive their adoptive parents. And that brings us back to Chrissy and Noah who have done all of the above and now. Three years ago I wanted to do it and I'm so mad at myself I didn't do it then because this has been awesome having him around. 